As you recall in an earlier training video, we talked about the column here in the Gantt chart. It's the indicators column. You can hover over the column header and it says in the pop-up, it will display indicators that give different types of information about a task or resource. And when you hover over one of these little icons, it pops up and it says, okay, this is a check to say that the task has been completed, then the date, and then this is a message. You can read the message, and then you've got indicators for constraints, also for those resources assigned to a task that are over-allocated. I mean, when you overwork somebody, they get angry, so they turn red, so you get a red dude here. In any case, in this training video, you can also pull in what's called a status indicator, well, as a column here. And what a status indicator column is, is that it'll show status of a task as either completed, on schedule, late, or in the future. To bring it up, as you recall in earlier training videos, you can just go ahead and right click on any column header and go down to insert column and then type in the first couple letters of that column's name. There you go, status indicator. Go ahead and select it. There we go. Um, if it's too big, go ahead and click and drag the split bar over and hover over to the right hand side in between the two column headers until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions then click and drag that in and that's a bit better okay you can see when you hover over the indicator it says hey this uh, project summary task is behind schedule well it's a summary task so if any of the tasks below are behind schedule then the uh, project summary task will be behind schedule and these others uh, they're completed so they're okay but as you recall my project was set back in 2010. So if we come up here, click on the project tab, go to the properties group, click on project information, it starts and finishes in 2010, and the current date is today's date. And so if I go ahead and I set the current date to, well, let me come over here and copy that and paste it over here. So when I click on the drop down arrow, it takes me back to 2010. So if I say the current date is to maybe the 9th. Well, then you can see here that the tasks that were behind schedule according to the current date are not behind because the current date, you can see that line right there is the current date drawn. That's a, it looks like uh, these other lines here that separate the weekends here. And so you can hover over these and say, oh, this task is on schedule. Hey, fabulous. And these ones, of course, are completed. And because those tasks are on schedule, then the project summary task is on schedule as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.